Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about the Cherryville gang from Pomona, California. I've covered every Pomona hood, but Cherryville. So here's the Cherryville tale. Cherryville beefs with multiple Pomona gangs, but Cherryville's worst and biggest enemy is the Pomona 12th Street Sharkies gang. I will get into that in a moment. But first, I want to highlight a Cherryville gang member and rapper they call Little Minor. In a song by Little Minor called All About My Paper, Little Minor disses the 12th Street Sharkies by saying, Bustin' on you guppies. The term guppies is how you diss 12th Street. Here's the lyrics. Necessary bucking on you guppies, yelling out. Little Minor would soon find himself in trouble. Little Minor was wanted for a parole violation. Little Minor would go on the run to Arizona. There, Little Minor had got chased by the police. During that chase, Little Minor had pulled out a gun and shot at the police. Little Minor ended up getting 25 years in prison. Back to Cherryville and 12th Street, the Sharkies claimed South Pomona as their own, taking on the name Pomona 12th Street. When numbered street signs sprouted on the east-west roads in front of their modest single-story homes. Sometime in the 50s or 60s, sharp division arose between leading Sharky families. This caused a faction of the gang enough to break ranks and form their own gang. Thus was born Cherryville, and with it, Pomona's most fierce and long-running gang rivalry. In the years that followed, Pomona 12th Street and Cherryville members frequently skirmished over territory and girls, ending up in hospitals and jail. They fought with fists, tire irons, and later guns. Pomona 12th Street had made a headquarters of sorts at Madison Park, which became best known as Sharky Park. Cherryville members made a hangout of a vacant lot on the west side on Hamilton Boulevard. In 1962, some gang members had crashed a party and started a fight over a girl who switched boyfriends. The violence that continued between 12th Street and Cherryville grabbed headlines. And Cherryville and 12th Street cemented a reputation as the city's two major gangs. 12th Street and Cherryville tried to have a peace summit to sort out their differences at Madison Park, but it didn't last. In one incident, Cherryville gang members had killed the seven-year-old son of a 12th Street gang member. That killing would spark retaliation. Using a stolen car, 12th Street Sharky's gang members Cruz Magana and David Adam and two unidentified individuals drove into the Cherryville section of Pomona during the late afternoon of April 26, 1990. A group of people were standing in front of the Gutierrez home. As the car passed the house, Cruz armed with the rifle or shotgun and David armed with the handgun jumped out of the vehicle and shot the group, killing Jesus Gonzalez and seriously injuring David Godinez Sr. and his infant son, David Godinez Jr. Cruz Magana and David Adam returned to the car. As the car drove off, its occupants yelled, 12th Street. Later that day, two eyewitnesses, Rene Gutierrez and Rosana Cabrera, identified Cruz Magana as the shooter in a photo show-up. The police arrested Cruz Magana the next morning. According to police, Cruz asked why he was being arrested, and the police responded for homicide. Cruz then stated, it must have been the incident which occurred in Cherryville yesterday. Cruz Magana was found guilty of one count of first degree murder and two counts of attempted murder. Cruz Magana was sentenced to life plus 11 years in prison. David Adam was tried separately. It's guaranteed he got a long prison sentence. On August 28, 1991, Robert Saucedo, known as Boxer, was shot and killed in Chino Hills. He was from the Cherryville gang. His murder is considered unsolved. On July 4, 2005, Ramon Quezada and Christina Chacon, husband and wife, were away from their Fontana home. While they were away, they received a call from someone at their home, urging them to hurry back. On their arrival home, police were present. Christina Chacon's brother and his friends had an altercation with Felix Nunez, a neighbor who lived across the street. Nunez was stabbed and later died. Nunez was a member of the Cherryville Street Gang based in Pomona. His gang moniker was Cat. Manuel Sevilla was a member of the Cherryville Gang as well and had the gang moniker Little or Little Block. Other Cherryville Gang members included Lucky, Sinner, Little Indio, and Popeye. Manuel Sevilla and Felix Nunez were close friends. They had grown up together and were in the same clique. 
They were respected, higher-level members of the Cherryville Gang. During the evening of January 21, 2006, Quezada and Chacon were at home with other family members. Quezada and Chacon walked to a market near their home. It was very dark when they returned. There were no street lights in the immediate area of their home. Passing a street light about 100 feet from their home, Chacon saw a parked car with the square back end facing away from them. As Chacon passed through their front gate, Quezada told her to keep walking and not stop. She heard Quezada close the gate behind him and begin walking up the driveway. As she approached the front door, she heard a gunshot and looked back to see Quezada fall into a bush adjacent to their front walkway. Quezada pulled her down and covered her with his body. Chacon heard three additional gunshots. The bullets passed by her head and struck a tree in a wall near the door. After the shooting, Quezada was bleeding and Chacon called 911. Police soon arrived and Chacon stayed by Quezada's side. She believed she heard him tell a police officer that the shooter was from Pomona, Cherryville. Quezada stated the shooting was in retaliation for the July 4, 2005 incident during which Nunez was killed. He stated the person who shot him was in a car that looked like a Burgundy Impala. When investigators asked Quezada who was responsible for the shooting, Quezada was initially hesitant and vague in his response, but ultimately stated the shooter got into a car and drove eastbound on a Thaw Street. He described the car as a mid-1990s dark-colored burgundy Chevy Impala. He stated the shooter looked like a gangster and was wearing a black jacket or hooded sweatshirt. He thought the shooter was a Pomona gangster and a member of the 12th Street Sharkies gang. Quezada thought the shooter had a beef with him and believed he had killed his cousin Nunez the previous July 4th. Quezada saw the shooter standing in the street while he and Chacon approached their home. He saw the shooter go to his car and obtain what appeared to be a gun. Quezada tried to get inside the house but was shot. Quezada was taken to a hospital and died the following day. A bullet wound on the right side of his abdomen caused blood loss, which in turn caused his death. One 45 caliber bullet was removed from his body. Police found three 45 caliber shell casings near the scene of the shooting. Those three bullets and the bullet that struck Quezada were all fired from the same 45 caliber Glock handgun. Cherryville homie Lucky had got busted with the gun and offered to give information about the January 21st, 2006 killing of Ramon Quezada. He said Little Block was involved in the shooting out in Fontana. Fontana PD investigators interviewed Lucky. He said he knows Little Block because both he and Little Block are from the Cherryville gang. On the night of January 21st, Lucky was at a party when Little Block arrived with Little Indio in a car a dark green Cadillac. Little Block seemed happy and announced to everyone that he had shot that fool with the 45 and saw him drop. Lucky said he knew Little Block's reference at the party was to a Fontana man whom Little Block believed had killed his other Cherryville homie, Felix Nunez. Lucky believed Little Block's motive was vengeance for the death of his best friend. According to Lucky, Little Block had been parking his car at the Fontana man's home every weekend for three or four months waiting for an opportunity to get him. One week before the shooting, Little Block had seen the Fontana man through a window and was going to shoot him, but he could not get a clear shot. Because Lucky had snitched on Little Block, his gun charge resulted in a less severe punishment. Police did another interview with Lucky. This time, they showed Lucky the first interrogation video and Lucky began to cry because he feared Cherryville would find out he's a snitch on video. After the follow-up interview, the detectives drove to Ontario with Lucky. Lucky showed police what house Little Drop lived in. Manuel Sevilla was arrested for the murder of Ramon Quezada and fell into possession of a firearm. Because the brother of Christina Chicon and others had an altercation that resulted in Felix Cat Nunez from Cherryville getting stabbed to death, Christina's husband Ramon Quezada had to pay the price with his life getting killed by Manuel Little Block Sevilla from Cherryville. Manuel Little Block Sevilla from Cherryville was sentenced to 50 years to life in prison. At approximately 10.45 p.m. on September 7, 2007, Jose Ortiz and Armando Gonzalez drove down the 1600 block of Berkeley Avenue in Pomona with a friend named Miguel and known Cherryville gang member Omar Valencia. 
The victim was named Hector, who was out on the sidewalk in front of his apartment complex watching fireworks. As the vehicle approached Hector and his friends, Jose Ortiz and Armando Gonzalez told the driver, Miguel, to stop the car. Jose and Armando got out the car and walked quickly toward Hector. Ortiz was holding a gun by his side, pointed downward. When they were approximately 12 feet from Hector, they stopped and asked him where he was from, meaning, what gang are you from? Hector, who was not a gang member, replied, nowhere, I don't gang bang. Jose and Armando then repeatedly shouted that they were from Cherryville. After the initial confrontation, the Cherryville gang members turned and walked back toward the car. As they neared the vehicle, they turned around. Multiple shots were fired at Hector, hitting him twice in his right leg. At trial, both Hector and another witness identified Jose as the shooter. However, in an interview with police on September 13, 2007, the driver Miguel identified Armando as the shooter. After the shooting, Jose and Armando got back into the car and drove away. Neither Cherryville homie spoke as they walked toward the car or as the shooting took place. Armando's girlfriend later told Pomona police that Armando confessed to the shooting. Cherryville gang member Jose Ortiz was convicted of attempted murder and assault with a semi-automatic firearm. Cherryville gang member Armando Gonzalez was convicted of attempted non-premeditated murder and assault with a semi-automatic firearm. Jose Ortiz from Cherryville was sentenced to prison for a term of 25 years to life. Armando Gonzalez from Cherryville was sentenced to 32 years in state prison.